Game script says they will be playing from behind. They're going to have to get points up on the board. So I'd probably go over just because it is so low. Mm -hmm. I do see the attempts being there. With that said, I'd look to interception because Micah Parsons at front seven is going to be very difficult for him. Even if the guys are getting open, the pressure we just talked about with the O-line is going to be too much for him. So I like Mac interception, but I also like a DAC interception. Mm -hmm. Two against the Jets, one against the Cardinals. You just talked about how that looked in the trenches. So it's weird. I usually don't play interceptions, but for both, I do like this. I'm going to go away from the yardage. For me, I'm going Mac Jones pass attempts over 32 and a half. I like attempts. This is something you've put me on to. 54 against the Eagles, 42 pass attempts against Miami, 29 against the Jets. The ground game found its footing. And like you said, hey, you want to offset Michael Parsons. You don't want him to pin his ears back and just be a game wrecker. I understand that. But I don't believe in the run game yet. I really don't. Zeke mm -hmm. found his space, but Ramondre Stevenson isn't clicking yet. I love the core of weapons. Not There's nothing elite there, but with a Hunter Henry, a Gasicki, a Demario Douglas, and a Ramondre Stevenson, mm -hmm. this offense will move and move the chains on Max back, and it'll be two, second and longs, third and longs, yep. not in the run down you know, scenarios for them to get. So that's why I think the pass attempts come up. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the yardage will be there, but it could be another game. He throws the ball 40 times, and it'll be a close one. That's a really good point. That's usually where I go to the attempts market is with the game script, because if you don't necessarily trust him to have the completions, you don't need the completions, you don't need the yards, you just need the attempts. So I like that play, probably more than the yards here. C.D. Lamb, only elite receiver, and the receiving props you like? I've been looking at Hunter Henry a lot because he's sort of that uh, safety blanket for him when it comes down to the check downs, especially if he's facing that pressure. So I've looked at Hunter Henry, didn't cash for me last week. I would look to that market again. But honestly, I, I'm looking at Ramondre, I'm looking at Zeke. This number for Zeke, 27 and a half. Again, I think there's gonna be a lot of run game here. Anywhere from 27 and a half, I should say, to 32 and a half. So, of course, certain shops are seeing money with yeah. it being a revenge game. I talked to a guy out in Vegas for Bet MGM, and he said, we just haven't seen it from him yet, so we're not going to adjust the numbers crazy just because it's a revenge game, which means if you have faith that he does blow up in this game, take advantage of this number.